So we've got a couple of um, cardiac questions here, so things to do with the heart. Then this is about topic 6.2. So the first one is drawing a labelled diagram of the heart showing the chambers, associated blood vessels and valves. So drawing a diagram, people love drawing diagrams. And um, the thing about this is that you have to have uh, you have to pay attention to detail in order to get like in order to maximize your marks. So remember that with these short questions, you're looking for about four points at least. Uh, at least for about four, or maybe even five points to get the maximum amount of marks. So remember that you have the right atrium and the left atrium, so we're going to draw those here. So actually at the same time, I'm also going to draw them, um, I'm also going to draw the valves as well. Actually, let's get rid of that one. Okay, so this is our right atrium. It's got very thin walls, doesn't it? And then going into our right ventricle, which has much thicker walls. And then as that comes out, then that comes out to become the comes out to become the pulmonary artery. Okay. So let's label these. So what how what goes into the right atrium first of all? So in that case it would be the vena cava. The vena cava would come in. So let's label this, so that's the vena cava. This is the right atrium. And then this is our right ventricle. Now remember that everything on the on these medical type of diagrams, the heart, you've got the right on the left and the left on the right. The final thing that we need to label is this one, which comes off from the right ventricle, and that's the pulmonary artery. Good. Okay, so on the other side, then we've also got another one. So we've got our we've got a very thick-walled um, ventricle here. So we've got. Let's draw our. Um, let's draw our pulmonary vein, which is coming in. Actually, I'm just going to switch this up for a bit. Actually, so I'm going to make everything blue on this side. So we've got our pulmonary vein. Maybe you should make it red. You should make it red. Okay, so let's put this together. So if we make this red, then everything coming in from this side, that's our that's our pulmonary vein, and it's coming into the. Coming into the um, left ventricle, and the thing about this left ventricle is that it has very thick walls. And then you need to draw the walls as being very thick, like this. And then where does it come out now? Then it comes out um, of here. Obviously my diagram isn't like perfect, but um, then we've got like another set of valves here, which are the semilunar valves, as the aorta comes out. It comes out of the aorta. Aorta. Okay. Good. And another thing, a few things that we forgot here is that we, we did our first set of valves, the AV valves on the right-hand side, but I forgot about the second one, the semilunar valves there. 
So I mean, you, look, it's not the most pretty picture, but you need to know the principles behind this. So the first one is that this is the pulmonary vein. This one is the left ventricle. Preceded by that is the left atrium. And now let's draw the... Now let's draw... draw <coughs> excuse me. Now let's draw the different valves. So let's circle these ones and we'll go... These ones are the AV valves. And then these ones as well. Those ones are the semilunar valves. And look, it's a fairly straightforward question then. If you're a better artist than me, which it definitely will be, then you can get quite good marks for this one. So look, you know, if you write AV valves and semilunar valves, I'm sure you get a couple of points there. Then if you show that the right and the right atrium and the right ventricles and the left atrium, if you just show the right atrium and the left atrium as being completely separate parts, then that should get you a point. And with the left ventricles and the right ventricles as well, that should get you another point as well. And you need to show these vessels that feed into the atria. So firstly the vena cava, um, as well as a pulmonary vein. Those will get you a point combined, as well as a pulmonary artery which comes off in the aorta. So we've got a total of six points there. So that's a fairly easy way to get uh, marks there. Okay, so the next question we're going to talk about the structure of an artery that allows it to carry out its function efficiently. And best way to do this one again, once again, just draw a diagram. So you've got a, you're going to draw um, an artery which looks, looks something like this and you're going to work from inside the lumen outside and we're going to talk about the individual points separately. Okay, so the very first thing is it's got a narrow lumen to maintain high pressures. Okay, once again a short question, so you're looking for about four to five points. And another thing that we can talk about is that on the inside of the lumen, so you've got a nice layer of endothelium, it's like slippery, um, slippery wax so that you reduce the friction. Okay. Good. And then now in this thick muscle wall layer, what do you have? Well, you've got a few things. You've got muscle, you've got elastic fiber, and you've even got collagen on the outside as well. So we're going to talk about those individually. So, so M is a muscle. So muscle fibers to reinforce um, Muscle fibers are there to reinforce uh, the pumping of blood. Okay, so the muscle fibers are there to reinforce the pumping of blood. Um, and how about the elastic fibers? They're, they're very there to do similar things. Elastic fibers to stretch, at, to stretch and reinforce and reinforce pumping of blood. And how about the collagen on the outside? The collagen on the outside is to support the blood vessels. Collagen fibers on outside to support the artery. So you see how if we have this kind of framework where we draw the diagram, then it reminds us what to talk about. And I guess the only thing that we're lacking here, I mean, we've already got five points here, which should be enough for maximum marks, but we can even add something else additionally here. And it's something that's not there, to be honest. So remember that with valve, sorry, not with valves, there are no valves with arteries. And the reason why that is, is because um, it's a high pressure system, so you don't need them. So we're just saying no valves in arteries. And you know, if we count the number of points that we have, we've got six points here, so that should give us um, a maximum mark. So it should give us a maximum mark, okay? Good.
There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.